Hey everyone! Today, we are going to talk about a fascinating and somewhat chilling topic. The Dajjal, a figure mentioned in Islamic prophecies who's said to appear before the end of times. I'll warn you up front, this is dense stuff, but don't worry. I'll break it down so it's easy to understand. The Dajjal, a universal concept. The concept of the Dajjal, or the Antichrist as he's known in Christianity, is fascinating because it spans multiple religions. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, warned his followers about the Dajjal, just like prophets before him warned their people. The Dajjal even parallels figures in Jewish tradition, although the details differ slightly. Isn't it amazing how such a specific concept of this ultimate deceiver appears across different faiths? It makes you wonder if there's a common source for all of these stories. The Dajjal's appearance and abilities. The Prophet, peace be upon him, gave us some specific signs to help us recognize the Dajjal if he appears. These signs are both physical and spiritual. Physical signs. He'll be a young man with curly hair. Most strikingly, one of his eyes will be deformed described as looking like a bulging grape. Deceptive powers. One of the Dajjal's biggest powers will be his ability to deceive people, leading them astray. He's even said to be able to perform miracles, making him that much more convincing. Let's be clear. These miracles will be illusions meant to trick people. They're not real acts of divine power. The Dajjal's influence. The Prophet peace be upon him, told us that the Dajjal's influence will spread far and wide. He'll travel the whole world, convincing people to follow him, offering what seems like an appealing path, but is ultimately a path toward destruction. There's a famous hadith that says the Dajjal will have the word kafir or unbeliever written on his forehead. True believers will be able to see this word, even if the Dajjal himself can't. Digging deeper. Myths and misconceptions. Now, there are some details about the Dajjal that are often debated, even among Islamic scholars. For instance, there's discussion about which of the Dajjal's eyes is deformed, the left or the right. Honestly, that particular detail, while interesting, might not be the most important thing for us to focus on. It's more important to understand the essence of who the Dajjal is and how we can protect ourselves. If you're the type who loves digging into mythology and folklore, I'd encourage you to do your own research on figures like the Armalus from Jewish tradition or the beast mentioned in the Christian book of Revelation. The parallels and differences are fascinating. The bigger picture, good versus evil. Ultimately, the Dajjal represents the greatest test of faith before the end of times. He symbolizes those forces of falsehood and deception that work to lead humanity astray. That's why it's so important for us to stay grounded in our beliefs, have a strong understanding of right and wrong, and not be easily swayed by those who offer quick and easy solutions. Let's wrap up, all right? That's a lot to take in. I hope this discussion about the Dajjal has sparked your curiosity and even inspired you to do some more research on your own. Remember, the best way to protect ourselves from deception is to stay close to Allah, strengthen our faith, and seek knowledge. Let me know in the comments what other topics you'd like explored. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.